Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think this is? Well, first of all, it's a powder. Pretty hard. Easy to figure that one out. And it hmm, has kind of a pungent, uh, uh, earthy kind of smell. And the... Uh, Taste is astringent, bitter, and kind of earthy. Well, this is Podarco bark, and this is a very healing agent. I'm telling you, uh, an amazing qualities that this this interesting tree that grows in South America has. It's the inner bark and also the heartwood that which is used and it's uh, boiled up and it can do amazing things. It's been used in South America for over 1500 years and uh, the bit different tribes in South America uh, say that the tree is called Paje which means vigor and strength and so it's pretty amazing stuff. It contains quinoids, benzenoids, flavonoids, Lacacol, uh, lac lapacol, and beta lapacone. Um, I hope I said those right. <laughs> it also has a lot of quercetin, which is a, a powerful antioxidant, and uh, you can buy that in capsules even. It's amazing for keeping away cardiovascular disease, strokes, and, and cancer. It also helps to deal with the uh, herpes simplex, vi simplex virus and there's not a whole lot that helps with that and so uh, making tea with this is pretty amazing. You can get it in different forms. Uh, this happens to be the powder but you can also get the wood and that works through making tea also. And also helps with parasites and uh, things like schistosomiasis and there's not a whole lot that helps with schistosomiasis and the Padarco bark does seem to work for that. Also helps heal the liver and if you have liver disease going on, uh, hepatitis and different things, you might want to consider making some of this Podarco bark tea. Uh, it's sold here quite often in the, the, the markets and uh, a lot of people just take them, put it in a fridge in a, in a quart jar or something and just let it set for two or three days in the fridge and then infuses that red color into the water. Most people will take about two, two teaspoons and put it into four cups of water and boil it for about 20 minutes and then let it cool for about an hour and then start drinking it. You can drink it kind of all day long and uh, maybe most people drink from one to six, six cups a day. It also helps with Hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, that's pretty amazing stuff too. I know somebody had died of that, so uh, this can make a, a huge change in the body. Also helps with uh, herpes one, uh, one and two, and heart disease, you know, cardiovascular disease to open up the vessels to get rid of some of the plaques and that type of thing. It's also really ha healing topically for athlete's foot, uh, eczema, psoriasis, and those type of things. It's very good at killing any microbe. And uh, it also helps with hepatitis in general. If you have hepatitis, and that's a tough one, you know, hepatitis, some of these uh, viral hepatitis problems are, are a big challenge. And this can help also for that. And also helps with cancer. And this is one of the few things that can help with metastatic cancer, once it spreads to the body, it, taking this in a real high doses can make a huge difference. And it can also help with, uh, with leukemia also. And they've had great success with it and put leukemia and uh, metastatic cancer. It also helps extremely well with candida and other yeast infections. If you have candida, uh, first of all, it's because of not eating right, I have to stress that we get too much acid going in the body and not enough probiotics and uh, then the candida and other yeast infections take over 
So go on my to go to www.paulhater.com and then click on my diet and you'll see my diet there and I can guarantee you uh, you'll start to see a difference with your candida once you get on my diet. Also, it helps to heal up skin wounds really quick and it kills staph and uh, E. coli and different bacteria in short order. And it also heals pain. And so if you have arthritis and joint pain and pain in general in your body, inflammation going on, this helps. And this is a great anti-inflammatory agent also. So if you have something like that going on, it's also an antifungal agent and an antiviral agent. And so if you have a viral infection, maybe you have coming down with a cold or flu or something like that, taking some podarco bark powder or it comes in a whole lot of forms, I tell you. Uh, for everything from ointments to uh, for skin problems, you can get it in tablets, you can get it in uh, the powder, you can get it in the bark and little shavings uh, to make tea with and soft capsules and all kinds of stuff. I mean, in and tablets, so oh, just about everything. Like I said, it helps with uh, arthritis and joint pain. Helps to lower fevers if you have a fever. It's also great for those people who have uh, diarrhea or constipation. If you have constipation, this can help in higher doses to loosen up the stool also. And it's great for ul gastric ulcers. And topically, it's really good for, for boils. If you ever had a boil, man, are they painful? Uh, <laughs> I've been there, done that, tell you the truth. Men, my younger a days, <laughs> and they are not fun, but this can really help. Uh, <clears throat> also, fibromyalgia, you know, taking this orally is really great for healing the pain of fibromyalgia. It can uh, lower down blood sugar and help with diabetes. It help with lupus also. There's not a lot of things that can help with lupus. So, Vidarco Bark is a, a wonderful agent for helping with lupus. It boosts up your metabolism. So, if you want to lose a little weight, you know, Vidarco uh, Bark can, can do that too. It also contains a lot of zinc, and that's one of the reasons it boosts up the immune system, it boosts up our metabolism, and gets us going. It, also helps with colds and flus, you know, zinc tablets and zinc lozenges and things like that. Well, Podarco Bark contains a lot of zinc. And also it's a great detoxing agent for the liver and also the blood in general and the body in general. So if you have some kind of challenge with some kind of toxin in your body, one of the things you might think about. Also, it helps a lot with vaginal yeast infections and other infections. and uh, as a cleansing agent, uh, as a douche. So uh, if you have some kind of infection, uh, vaginal infection, you might think about using uh, some Padarco tea in the douche and to cleanse that away and use it for about seven to 10 days straight and it will do a really good job of healing that up. Also, it uh, has a pleasant taste. Uh, I think it's very um, refreshing, actually, when it's cool, you, know, you have it in the fridge for a while, it's really, uh, really good. I think it's uh, excellent, in fact. And also, if you want to make a cup of tea, you take about two te teaspoons, like I said, of the bark and four cups of water, boil it for 20 minutes, let it cool for an hour, and then you can drink, you know, one to six cups daily. It comes in, like I said, in tablets and dried bark. It comes in tinctures also, uh, powder, soft gels, uh, liquids, ointments, uh, you name it, there. <laughs> it's out there. Yeah, because it's also, like I said, a good antimicrobial agent. And so if you have uh, you know, something going on in general, I would recommend this. It's been used, like I said, for thousands of years. And in normal doses, it really has no side effects. You know, if you get into really high doses, of course, you know, anything will have a side effect. But it shouldn't be used by those who are pregnant, nursing, or, you know, children, in general, small children in general. Uh, I don't recommend anything for small children in general, in fact, uh, other than good old organic food. But remember, heal life self with food first, you know. That's the most important thing. I, 
find a lot of people with inflammation don't think about food. They just think about, you know, what am, what am I going to take? What am I going to take, you know, to get rid of this? But the food starts the inflammation, especially we now have studies showing that every time we, they came out in January, in fact, every time we eat any animal product, it creates a trimethyl N oxide, and that toxin starts heart disease, starts cancer, starts so, and diabetes, it starts inflammation in the body in general. Inflammation starts disease, and that's the first step. So we want to get rid of this toxin. It's, we need to go on a diet like mine and to really feel great. You know, I'm going, I'll be 64 this year, very shortly, and I don't have an ache or pain of any kind in my body. And I look at all my people I see around me, my age, in fact, uh, and they all have some kind of disease. I don't take any medications of any kind, uh, and I feel wonderful. I walk six and a half miles every day, well, a mile and a half with the dogs in the morning. We've got two little dogs. And then uh, another five miles later, you know, or maybe six miles later, and uh, I work out with weights and do 100 pull-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 crunches, and I feel fantastic. I, I'm telling you, getting on the right diet, eating a lot of greens, eating a lot of beans. You know, beans have been shown to make a person live a long time. Now, and people go, oh, I get a lot of gas with those. You know, but the more you eat the beans, the, the less gas you have. And I... I eat a lot of black beans because it's anti-inflammatory and I just don't find that they create gas for me at all. And the same thing with the garbanzos. I don't see them creating gas at all. So there's two beans that really are pretty much gas-free. And uh, I'm telling you, black beans are sent from heaven. <laughs> they are amazing for gout, amazing for arthritis and joint pain. And if you just didn't even eat the beans, but just uh, you made the beans and you had the water left over, just drink the water. It'll help with your inflammation also. And so think about taking some wonderful pardarco bark. It's an amazing healing agent. Uh, and uh, it has a lot of antioxidants, as I said, good old quercetin, which is powerful. And so you might want to think about taking some. and, and I wouldn't take it on a regular basis, but uh, I would take it when you need it. I like all things, I recommend you take all herbs, all supplements, and just about anything other than food type supplements well, for seven to ten days. You know, some of these herbs were the first, you know, medications. You know, look at you look at uh, valerian. You know where they got valium from? <laughs> Valerian. Of course, they synthetically, synthetically make it now, but of course, uh, a long time ago, it was the original Valium. And so we need to uh, treat them with, you know, reverence and allow ourselves to use it in a short course and uh, for healing and then go back to our normal way of eating correctly. And then uh, we won't walk run into trouble because they all put a burden on our liver let's be honest everything in general you know we need to allow ourselves to heal with the food first so wonder have a wonderful day if you uh, want to get a hold of me my click on show more and my all my info is right there all my consultations are free be they spiritual or herbal and also uh, my phone number and email address and Skype is all down there and uh, feel free to contact me and I'll help you in any way shape or form I can and if you care to make a donation uh, the donation link is down below and I appreciate that and I thank you in advance have a wonderful wonderful day I love you <laughs>